Can you give us a little synopsis of the uh, book, please? Waters Plantation by Myra McIlvain is a fictional account that captures the changing trend of late 1800s America. Expanding from after the Civil War and through the Reconstruction era, the story of Texan plantation owner Albert Waters is a thoughtful reflection of life at a time when uncertainty over the freedom of enslaved people, economic advancements, labor issues, political confusion, and shifts in mentality had the country divided. Oh, so the country divided. Nice. I know Myra writes really cool historical fiction, specifically about Texas. Surely. Myra's expressive and descriptive writing gives the story its heart. She infuses each chapter with distinct characters and actual life instances that teleport the reader into a classical setting responsible for shaping the country's future. In particular, the nuances of daily happenings scattered throughout the pages and the genuine conversations between characters highlight not only life in the 19th century, but also the sentiments of people, especially in terms of personal and working relationships. Wow. I get the feeling that this book is indeed a gem and it is a must read. Well, I know Myra does a thorough research and has the ability to weave all those historical facts into the story extremely well. So what about the cover? What's your take on the cover page? The cover of Waters Plantation features a drawing of the estate with traditional elements such as a horse-drawn chart adding to its nostalgic factor. I especially like how the mansion gives a hint of grandeur to the setting. At the same time, surrounded by the green of the plantation, a sense of enclosure and claustrophobia oozes from the cover. It perfectly validates the feeling of being cut off from the world, an emotion many characters in the book struggle with for various reasons. Nice. I have the book here. Let's see. And yes, that is exactly the first impression that you get from the cover. Well, let me get my, let's put it this way. Yes, yes, nicely prepared indeed. I also wanted to read these, uh, uh, this one and the little stickers, you know. Uh, let's see. Uh, the uh, This one right here says, first place. Texas Authors, Historical Fiction Family. And this one right here, it says uh, Fan or Pencraft Awards, uh, Literary Excellence, winner, runner up 2019. This is just uh, awesome. So now that we know uh, Myra has won uh, one, two, two awards, at least that we know, it's a stickers. Uh, my next question to you is, uh, let's talk about the main uh, character. Okay, can you give, a, give us a little feedback on that, please? I thought you'd never ask. Actually, the main protagonist, Albert Waters, is a fantastic character study. A man with dreams and aspirations, but he isn't without faults. On the one hand, wanting to free enslaved people, he agrees to enter a marriage of convenience. Simultaneously, his desires lead him to have an illegitimate child, Tobias. Now that is actually the center of the story, and it begins with contention as Toby, a day away from leaving for medical college, discovers that he is half black, placing a question mark on his identity and how he perceives himself. This interaction forms the crux of the novel as the now strained relationship between father and son sits heavy on Albert whose life goes through another alteration with the arrival of past love Amelia. Uh-huh. I knew Myra wouldn't leave that story with one predicament, so there are a bunch of predicaments in this uh, book. Please go ahead and give us a little bit more insight on this Amelia, Amelia person. This is quite curious, actually. Oh, yes. Myra indeed does a good job by introducing Amelia. So, the story arc that follows Albert and Amelia is beautiful. Amelia comes as a breath of fresh air for Albert. But, 
you will have to read the book to see how Amelia affects Albert's life. And again, I must say, Myra did an excellent job integrating Amelia into the story. Ah, uh, okay. So how about some of the other characters? Like, tell us about the supporting characters, please. Myra is a true historian who uses her supporting characters to give a holistic viewpoint. Whether it's wide-eyed Ezra, a young lad traveling with Albert, discovering what life is outside the confines of sheltered plantation living, or the exchanges between Albert and his cooperative members, like Miss Elizabeth. Myra creates occasions that are as insightful about the period as they are entertaining and enriching to the story. When you are reading the book, you can relate to her characters and feel their sorrows and joys, giving the story an almost realistic aura. Moreover, these interactions help form a necessary bridge between the various elements of the main plot, that of Albert coming to terms with multiple internal and external developments, resulting in a story that runs smoothly, taking the reader on a journey through time and location without any bumps on the road. Okay, so why don't you give us the verdict on this book, okay? Absolutely. Waters Plantation is an excellent, well-researched, and detailed novel that will appeal to history lovers and those wanting to know how America reformed after the Civil War. Myra's earlier foray into non-fictional makes the book authentic when it comes to facts. However, this doesn't prevent her from building a plot that incorporates human emotions, giving them equal, if not more, weightage. These changing relationships are the soul of the story. Enjoyable and, at times, revealing, Waters Plantation will keep you up at night. Transfixed by the impact of the period's history, but also wanting to know how Albert and his coming-of-age saga full of predicaments finally conclude. Awesome. So, give us a rating for this book out of five stars. Go ahead. I will definitely give this book five stars and highly recommend it. It is a must read. It is a must read. Awesome. So I would like to thank you for your review as I am sure the readers will purchase and enjoy the book. And to purchase the book, all you have to do is to go to bookselfie.com and search Waters, Waters Plantation, again, Waters is plural, that's the name, uh, last name of the person, Waters Plantation. And while you're at it, take a look at Myra's other books. Really, you know, those are wonderful books. I mean, she is an excellent writer. And purchase them all, actually. 